Hi guys, and welcome back to City Skylines 2, San Francisco, the alternative version. I'm your host and creator, Legio, and I appreciate you being here. And I think this is episode 7 now, so, you know, slowly but surely getting this out, and I greatly appreciate those of you who are sticking through all this with me. Your support is greatly appreciated. But anyways, I'm just sitting here admiring this asset again. I just can't get over the top. Love that up there. That's awesome. This asset does come with its faults though, like this right here. I I played with that enough. Can't fix it. It's part of the building. So just got to live with it. So anyways, moving on from things we can't control to things we can control. Uh, here's an overview of the city. I think it's shaping up quite nicely. Uh, I've got some ideas going forward. and. Yeah, I think you guys are going to like what we're doing today. Like the title says, we're going to build a university. I think that's going to go right up in here. Uh, but to get that done, we're going to have to do some terrain work because the university is rather large. And if you don't prep the terrain before you put it in, it'll tear. I played with it off screen a little bit before we started recording. And it just requires some terrain work. So yeah, we're going to get the university and that's going to be the big thing today. I think we're going to add more on to our neighborhood up here. We're gonna try to plop down some more uh, city services as we go, but let's just go ahead and dive right into it, guys. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is I kinda of wanna prep the terrain down here. I wanna run Prospect Street all the way down to, what is that, Magnolia Street. So run a road from here to there, and to do that, we're gonna to have to do some terrain work because look at the hill we are working with. So yeah, we're gonna to have to uh, work that out. I'd like to keep the ponds up here, but they may be uh, they may be some uh, unintended casualties. So let me go ahead and work this through, guys, and I'll be right back. Let's go ahead and start getting this neighborhood up here figured out. Um, I know there are power lines somewhere in here. It's really hard for me to see power lines, but we'll see them as soon as we start building. So what I want to do is go into my small roads. I'm going to grab my grid and I'm going to run it off of this road right here. And we're going to take it out. I think I want two blocks. So right there. Let's make sure that lines up with this road. It does not. Let's try that again. Okay, and that snaps in a pretty good 90. Awesome. Yep, the zones are a little messed up, but if you look at the topography, the topography is not flat, so that's why it's doing that. And I can go ahead and go in and fix some stuff now that we got it in there. Okay, and then I'm gonna take a medium road and I wanna run a medium road from uh, from here. Yeah, we can run a medium road from there all the way, there's my power line. So let's pause the game real quick. And we're gonna take the power lines out. They're gonna get moved. I just don't want my citizens freaking out. That's why I pause it whenever I do this stuff. Take them all the way back out to here real quick and just a little bit more. All right, now we're going to first smooth out our slope because that looks really bad. So let's grab slope, let's click there. Run that out to, ooh. let's run it to there. And then we're going to elevate this road. Uh, I don't want it to be 20 meters though. That'd be pretty, that'd be a pretty tall bridge. Let's go seven and a half. How will that look? Will that clear our highway? That will clear our highway. And then we'll run it down to there. How's that slope? That's pretty good slope. And then we'll run this 
down to a zero and we'll take it out just a little ways and that's a pretty good slope right there. Now we can go back into our small roads and we can connect. We can just start connecting up our grid. And then that's going to give us a main road that crosses over. This will probably not connect to the highway. This is just going to be basically for residential to get to and from either side of the highway. That's what that's there for now, at least in my mind. And then we'll go back into our electricity and we'll just run it over there so they don't lose their collective minds. Did that even connect? No. I don't, sometimes this game, I'll click and think something gets placed and it doesn't get placed. And I just feel like an idiot. And then I think we can run a road like that. Yep. Okay. And now we can unpause it because the electricity should be connected. We're really close to leveling up. I want to level up before I start building out here because I want to get some stuff. So we'll just go ahead and zone all that in. That should bring a pretty substantial amount of people into the city. Yeah. Yeah, that should bring a lot of people into the city. And uh, let's see, let's go ahead and fix up any one-way messes that we're gonna have. I don't think we should have any. Okay, nope, that's good. Let's let this play out for a second. Okay, so now that we got these roads up here, I think they're gonna need an elementary school up here, so let's just go ahead and plop one down. Oh, that's, yeah, that looks, that fits perfectly. Yeah, yeah, no, that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and, uh, Give this clinic, we'll put a playground right next to the main busy road. Hopefully no one flies off the ramp. And we'll just get the extension wings because otherwise I'm going to forget to come back and do all that. Sweet. Now, I don't want to expand up this way just yet because what I'm inevitably going to do is this big bend is going to go away. I just need to buy these tiles first. That's why we're waiting for that upgrade. And then this will extend a little bit further so it's a more clean looking grid. But we need to get some housing in. So, let's see. Um, what do you guys need? How are you? Oh. Oh, the first thing I click. Okay. Let's go ahead and give them a police station then. I'm thinking right in here. Because we have a problem down here. Yeah. This is the problem area, so we'll put it down here. Let's go into our zoning. And dezone this area right here. And just go ahead and clear all this out. And then hopefully I don't have to destroy my highway. Get a police station and can it fit right there? It does fit right there, but it creates a really weird hill. Uh, let me fix this off screen, guys. Alrighty, so we reworked this area down here. Now there's a police station here. Um, did a few things off screen, mostly terrain stuff and rezoning some things. Uh, but we're running into a few problems still. And I've been looking at it. I think it's because we still need another police station and we need to start getting some other services in. So I'm going to go ahead and plop another police station. I'm thinking like right in here somewhere. Does it work right here? How's that going to look? Is it going to look weird here on the back? It does look a little weird on the back, but I think I can line this with trees and bushes and it'll be fine. So we're going to go ahead and upgrade that bad boy. And that's probably it for police stations for now. Let's see what our coverage is. So we'll go here and then click our little badge and a whole bunch of police cars just pop out. Okay, yeah, all right, cool. Cause when I was watching, this was up at like 11, 12%. I'm not really sure why, but it's already dropped down to 8%. So I think we're gonna start fixing some of those issues there. Cause apparently my city was very crime ridden. Um, the next thing I want to start working on before we expand too much is I want to get our telecommunications going. So uh, I've never played with this before, so you guys have to forgive me if I make some mistakes. Um, so I know green means good, red means not so good.
Okay, that looks good. And I know we can upgrade these. I've seen that. Wait a minute. I thought I put one right down in here. Yeah, let's put one right there. And then, what's this? Bandwidth increase. Yeah, let's go ahead and increase the bandwidth. And then wireless network antenna. Let's see how that looks. Let's go, where is it? Uh, right there. Okay, so that area is really green. This, let's see what happens if we increase. Okay, so that gets a little better. And what happens if we slap that on? All right, so our area, th this is getting pretty, this is getting a lot better. Okay, so our citizens should be happy. And I think, if I remember correctly, when I watched one of the YouTube videos, this helps increase commercial sales, which in turn increases some of our tax revenue. So we're going to go ahead and just go ahead and uh, increase these guys' capabilities. I don't think I'm going to increase these two because I think these two are going to end up being moved at some point. So now we have internet. So they should start being happy about all that. Uh, let's go into our happiness and see what we got. Um, lack of entertainment, unreliable healthcare coverage, high crime. So we took care of a lot of that. Okay, and minus ones I can live with. So we've met some of their needs and that helps us build towards our next milestone. So you're abandoned, let's see why though. High crime, yeah, like I said, uh, you can see the negative 15. I think that's gonna start going down now that we got another police station. I think I just accidentally neglected that and it just kind of spun out of control there for a little bit because under the services and everything, I, uh, I decreased the services to get our money up so I'm probably just dealing with ramifications of that. But anyways, okay, what can we do now? Uh, let's go ahead and just zone out a few more residentials because that demand's gonna start creeping back up, I bet. So we'll go ahead and put those in there. You know what, just take all of it. I just don't want them on that main road. I wanna leave that pretty open. I don't want people uh, clogging up that road. And a radio mass here, yeah. Radio mass there makes a little bit of sense. So while they do that, let me go ahead and, uh, yeah, this area is kind of ugly. Let me go ahead and pretty this up real quick, guys. All right, so we got some foliage in there. It's going to help cover up some of the ugliness in there. For a vanilla build, I think this is going to be okay. If this was like City Skylines 1 with all the uh, bells and whistles I had, I'd spend more time with it. But we're just going to move on because, in my opinion, I'm behind schedule with this. So... Anyways, we have some services going in the city. I'm already seeing less complaints. I'm seeing less abandonment. So internet and a police station being up there has probably really helped that area out. Um, there's a fire there, but you know, they're fine. Everything's on fire in my city anyways. But for the time being, I wanna shift my focus down here to this little cliff area. Uh, this is Pioneer Park, I believe. If I'm correlating everything correctly, I'll put that on the screen now for you from Google Earth. Um, I made some mistakes with road layouts. Well, I don't know if you want to call them mistakes. They're, it's different. Again, I'm just using San Francisco as an inspiration. Uh, it looks like the Embicadero. God, I cannot say that name, especially when I'm sick. The main road the ferry is on. Uh, runs and kind of runs into this area. Mine doesn't, it kind of runs up and over like this. So we're gonna have another road probably come down here to the waterfront and we're gonna make it our own. So let's go ahead and start plopping some roads down real quick. Um, so we're gonna run this, try to get a nice 180. And we're gonna run it basically to right there. How does that look? Um, I can make it better. I'm pretty sure I can make that a little bit better. Let's go into our slope, grab that height, and just run it down kind of like that. We'll come in and smooth the edges out a little. Go back in, get our road, and we're gonna run this at a nice 180 down to the water. That's a lot better, cool. And then we're gonna run a road from right here over, and I think we're gonna use our continuous line tool and try to respect the, uh, the topography as best we can um, yeah yeah okay I think this is gonna work I think this is going to work everyone yeah, that's not a bad little shape 
Um, yeah, I really like that shape. And we preserved the hill, because this is gonna end up being a park and everything. I think the university is gonna go like right over here. So I think this area is gonna shape up pretty nice. Um, I'm gonna do all the key work off screen because I think that's extremely boring to watch and I'm not using the mods. So give me a little bit guys and I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, so we kind of have our waterfront road in now and I think the shape is really good. I do like the shape. Um, if you look closely, there's some bumps and hills and stuff that I, I'm not thrilled about but I think I can live with these because A, roads aren't perfect ever, B, building on any kind of terrain change and Skylines 2 is very difficult. And I think one of the first mods that's gonna come out whenever everything goes officially live with Colossal Order is going to be a Move It mod. So I'll probably come back and fix it because I assume the Move It mod for Skylines 2 will be like Skylines 1 and I can move nodes and everything. So yeah, got that shape. And while we were building, we did progress. So you missed all that, but you know, we'll make up for it now. So, thinking about this, I think I want to get a recycling center because I want us to have a fairly green city. I think I'm going to go ahead and grab the hospital because they've been complaining about healthcare. I don't think healthcare is really necessarily bad, but let's just get ahead of the curve while we're working on it. Uh, I also want to go ahead and get some sports parks while we're at it because I have a plan for those. And then we are going to go into education and we're officially gonna get our university and unlock that. And yeah, that's gonna be all we're gonna unlock for right now. We also have some tiles to work with. So let's go ahead and correct our mistake from the last episode and get some tiles in. Uh, before I buy the wrong tiles, let's go ahead and look at how many tiles I'm going to need and what tiles I'm going to need. Um, from there to there. Is there a way I can just... Okay. There's a way I can just do two tiles. So hopefully I buy this correctly. So I think it was this one and this one. If it isn't, we'll just have to get another tile. It's not a huge deal. Aha! Perfect. We have fixed our mistake from, from episodes past. So, yeah. Bought two water tiles just to fix a mistake I made in the last episode. But now our ferry seems to be operational. So people will be coming in. We're still having a little bit of abandonment issues, but we can live with it. For now, they'll live with it. And uh, yeah, so now I have a decision to make. Um, do I want to build here in the Pioneer Park area or do I want to start on the university? Decisions, decisions. I think I want to go ahead and build in this Pioneer Park area, which to me means I'm going to have to move this stuff. And I know, I just placed the radio mask, but I think I can go ahead and move it, and the water tower can get moved, and this pumping station can get moved. So let's go ahead and move those real quick. All right, and oh, perfect. We'll just move the pumping station out. We'll pause the game, move the pumping station there. We're going to run us a little road to it, just like this. And while we're at it, I saw we could do some upgrades. So let's go ahead and do some upgrades on this bad boy. And then we'll put an extra pump in because we have the money for this stuff now. We'll go ahead and grab our water tower. We're going to move that on over with it. Put you right there. And we'll go ahead and upgrade this as well. Wait, does that change the visual? It does. It doesn't change it a whole lot. I didn't know it did that. Cool. Great, awesome. And then, uh, what else was over here? Our radio mast. Okay, so this one matters a little bit more on where we move it. I wanna keep good coverage, because these this area down here will lose a lot of coverage if I move it too far. Um, uh, let's see, let's see, um, I'm trying to think, is there, sometimes these do end up in neighborhoods and everything, uh, I don't know, what just happened, I think my computer glitched out, um, you know what, just for now, let's put it on this road, because sometimes, I think those do end up in neighborhoods sometimes, 
you know what actually it'll make sense because we're putting the university here we'll put it on the university campus so problem solved because i know i've seen them on a university campus before okay so now i want to go ahead and build this park area out i'm not sure how i want it to look just yet um uh, i think it'll take i think it'll look good because of this hill let me think for a second and we'll get started in a little bit so quick pause while i while i think this over Alrighty guys, so this is the only decent fast play break we have, so I want to use this time to get our YouTube comment shoutouts done. Um, and then I'll follow that up with a quick history lesson. So anyway, so let's get into our first YouTube comment we have here, which is from Somber Killer. They say it's starting to shape up nicely, and I agree. Uh, it typically takes me a while to get a shape going, but once I get the shape, I typically do like that shape. So thank you sir or ma'am for the comment. The next one we have here is from Mohang2, saying they love the series with lots of exclamation points. That makes me happy. I appreciate that. And then they say they love the history as well. Well, I love the history as well too, and hopefully you enjoy today's history lesson as well. Then we have Mihail BFC saying, I'm the first City Skylines YouTuber that they see doing a park using the district tool with a rather happy smiley face. At least I assume that's a happy smiley face. And yeah, I like doing my parks like that using the district tool because in my experience, I see a lot of neighborhoods and cities uh, take their name after the local park. So in my mind, I'll name the park and then that area just kind of takes the name of the park. I don't always do that. It's just kind of a, a general rule I have, something I use. And then the last comment we have here is from Jope7219 saying cool interchange. I assume that's from our interchange episode where we built our big one. So yeah, I appreciate that comment. I like that interchange too. It's nothing super crazy fancy, but it's our interchange and I like it and I'm glad you enjoyed it as well. So anyways, yeah, thank you guys for the comments. Uh, keep them coming. I really do enjoy interacting with you guys. Reading the comments is one of my favorite parts of this. So anyways, let's get into our history lesson for the day. And we're just gonna continue with San Francisco's history by talking about San Francisco during the 1800s. So anyways, let's just dive right in. In 1821, the area known as the Californias, which is what is the modern day state of California in the United States and the Mexican states of Baja California and Baja California Sur. They are separate states. It's a little confusing if you're not familiar with it. I know I wasn't until I read about it. These areas were ceded to Mexico by Spain after Mexico had attained its independence in 1821. And this area obviously included the San Francisco Bay and the peninsula, which is why we're talking about it today. In this area was the settlement of Yerba Buena, which developed in which developed in the area of San Francisco of San Francisco of what is modern day Chinatown and the financial district. And this soon became a focal point for the area. Yerba Buena was the original name settlement in the area of San Francisco, and it sat between the Presidio of San Francisco and the Mission San Francisco de Assisi. So we kind of talked about those in an earlier episode. Uh, the Presidio was a military fort, and then the uh, Mission was a, a mission. So they weren't actually civilian um, occupied. Yerba Buena would have been your first civilian occupied area. Uh, I included a reference down below because I don't know if I explained that very clearly, but if you're interested in that, uh, check the references down below. Anyways, moving along. In 1833, Juana Briones de Miranda, hopefully I pronounced her name correctly, established her rancho, which essentially is a land grant given by uh, the Mexican government during the time to try to get the area populated. Near El Palin Spring, and she built a home in Yerba Buena. This made her the first civilian to live in the area, and she later became known as the founding mother of San Francisco. And uh, Miss Juana Briones de Miranda left a rather large impact on the area. Her influence can still be seen in the area on the local school names, streets, and there are apparently plaques in her honor in the local parks. So if you're getting that, you're probably fairly important to the city. On January 30th, 1847, U.S. forces did take control of the area during the Mexican-American War, and Yerba Buena was later renamed to San Francisco, just taking the name of the Presidio, because the military's in charge, they're going to take uh, the name of the fort and use that. It makes sense. 
At the time, though, the settlement was still small, but it would soon explode in population thanks to the famous gold rush of 1849, which would shape San Francisco and California into what they are today. Now, I don't want to get into the uh, gold rush right now. That's a rather large topic, and I don't have the time in this fast play because I have about eight minutes to do it. And I want to do the gold rush justice, so I'll cover it later on, I promise. But that's a quick synopsis of San Francisco in the 1800s. There's obviously a lot that, uh, there's a lot of other history and other things that are going on during that time, but I kind of cherry picked the highlights I found interesting, and I hope you guys agree with that. Anyways, I did include the references down below with the Wikipedia page for San Francisco as well. Uh, again, I kind of use Wikipedia as a guide, find the references on Wikipedia, and then I'll go read those references. I'm not saying Wikipedia is wrong, it's just I will always validate the references. It's just what I'm trained to do. So anyways, I also wanted to take a moment to say thanks for sticking around with me on this episode. I know this episode is way longer than my usuals, but I kind of got the itch to build, and I want to start to get more of the city built, so that will sometimes just produce longer episodes. Let me know if you prefer the, prefer the shorter ones or the longer ones. I'm okay either way. The longer ones take longer to edit, and uh, they can be kind of frustrating for me. Uh, shorter ones just get done a little bit quicker. But anyways, again, thanks for your guys' uh, thanks for your guys' support. Uh, I greatly appreciate it. Um, and yeah, I'll basically just let it go back to uh, the fast play because there's only a minute or so left. But again, thank you for the support, and hopefully you're enjoying the build. And uh, yeah, thanks for sticking around. Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy that. I mean, going into this view, I think it looks really good. Because the idea is over here you have some of your recreational stuff you can do, like basketball and the skate park. We got some tennis courts right here. And then you got plenty of walking pads. And I mean, this this was the view I was going for. Just, it's a good view. It's a very good view. If I had some more assets and everything I put like a roundabout up there but I tried to build that and it just it didn't want to go so yeah there's our park now let's go ahead and create a district for this and let's see we'll go there and then down here and then down here over to here right there there overlapping okay actually you know what we could do is instead of this being its own yeah that's what we'll do we will bring this down bring this out like that yeah so what we'll do is we're gonna expand Dale Park there we go expand that and then at least out to here and then I think we can probably just run it out to here. Uh, yeah, right there. Okay. And then we have some overlap over there. I don't know why it's... I don't know why it's doing that. Oh, it's because it was the different district. Okay, so we fix that. We just bring this up like that. My districts are all messed up. Yeah, my districts are all messed up. We'll fix that in a second. And now, instead of this being Dale Park, we're just going to rename it Pioneer Park. And we're going to be happy with it. So, okay. 
Yep, got our park in. It's looking pretty good. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna move on from there. Oh wow, I can't spell. Pioneer, B-A-R-K. All right, so let's move on guys. Uh, next up is some higher education. So let's go ahead and get the groundwork done for that. I'm thinking the university can go right here. It's pretty central for the city as it expands that way. Uh, it's right next to Pioneer Park, which you know makes sense to me. Uh, because a lot of universities do have parks near them for, you know, recreation for the students, you know. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get all this started up real quick. Okay, so my thought process is we are going to run this road all the way into that road. But before we do that, we got to do our typical, get the terrain to work how we want. So we want it to hit right about here, run from there, down. Wow, what a terrain change. Okay, well, we're going to have to make it work. All right, we got a little plot of land here, so we're gonna go in and we're gonna skip over the college. We're gonna put a college down. I think of this like a community college. We'll place that here in a minute, but I've been wanting to put the university down. It's a selfish thing, but it's what I wanna do. We are gonna put it right here and let's see how this looks. Oh yeah, that looks really good. Look at that, look at that. Now, one thing I wanted to make sure we had room for is the library off on the side over here, which we have plenty of room for that. Yeah, we have plenty of room, so we'll go ahead and put that down now for future planning. Because if I don't put this stuff down, I never think to do it. Uh, we're going to put the plaza back there, and then the extension wing. We can go ahead and put that down, I guess. Why not? We have the money for it. Oh, we can place multiple libraries. Uh, I don't really think we need to, but okay. All right, so there's our university. Now, one thing that I want to do is I want to put a sports field somewhere over here. Hopefully, I left enough room. But we're going to let this run for a little bit. Our radio tower is also going to have to get moved. So let's see, what do we want to do? I think what we're going to do is we're going to take this medium road and we're going to connect these roads up right here. And I think that'll be enough room for our, our large sports park. We don't have them unlocked yet, but if I had to guess, we're gonna probably try to fit an American football field because we're in America, and I think it should fit in here. If not, we'll rework the university. But we have the university in now, and I don't think I need to put a parking lot in because it looks like itself has a lot of parking. And yeah, it looks pretty good. I think what we need to do is uh, work some pads in here so can we run a path just down to here does that make any sense oh it doesn't connect okay well i'm not even gonna bother we'll just let it do its own thing but i think it looks good now what we need to do in my opinion is start filling this area out up here a little bit so let's do some road work before we do that we gotta go back in and do our typical terrain stuff so let's go ahead and get our slope down Okay, what kind of roads are we dealing with here? We're dealing with the regular two-lane roads. We'll run you there for now. Oh, my. <laughs> that was a mistake. Okay, run it like that. Okay, now we go back into our straight. And I don't know how I want this to go just yet, so I'm not gonna connect, make a connection. I'm just kind of getting a skeleton in place seeing how things are going to look. I may upgrade some of these into one-way roads. Right now it's just kind of getting the skeleton of things in place. And I think I'm going to run this road all the way through. And 
It's at a 190 there. And it'll connect just like that. How's it look? It's on a hill, but I think I can live with that hill. Yeah, and I mean, San Francisco itself is pretty hilly, so I gotta leave some hills. And honestly, the zoning turned out okay for me just eyeballing it. Uh, the only thing I'm not really in love with is some of the hill that's created here, like the slope. That's that's a bit extreme, but it doesn't break the terrain, so I think I'll live with that for right now. Yeah, we're just going to live with it for right now. And let's go ahead and start getting some of this filled out. Okay, hopefully we'll still have room for our uh, our football field. I would hope this is enough room. I really do. Okay, so, oh, there's an abandoned. Let's see why they abandoned. Probably a whole bunch of reasons. Uh, lack of entertainment. Well, I'm getting to that. I can only do so many things at once. So, there goes your dream home. And I accidentally took somebody else out with them. All right, so that's all done. I'm thinking now, since we have the university down here, uh, we need to get a community college because some people just can't afford a university. It's expensive. Um, and I've noticed with education, it looks like it takes it a while and the more options you have, the better. I'm thinking community college would work pretty good up here. So let's go ahead and get that in. I want to see how big it is first. Okay, it's not massive. I'm thinking tucked somewhere like over here. Wait, can I just go ahead and place, can I place this? Yes, sweet. All right, and then what I think we can do is, oh, I got an idea. So run the road in there, run this road over here and down. Now what we can do is we can grab this, we can actually snap it to the road. There, now we have a community college and they have a nice little front lawn and we can run a little pathway straight up. And is that hitting dead center? It is hitting really close to dead center, I believe. Is it close enough that I'm good with it? That's about as good as I'm gonna get, okay. And since I am the worst at coming back and fixing things, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, put stuff in right now. Because we did have the money. We are generating money, so that's why I'm okay with putting a lot of this down. So we are going to leave this as it is. I think what I'm going to go ahead and do real quick though is I'm going to line this, this path with bushes. So bear with me, I'll speed through this. All right, so we got the community college in. That's what I'm calling this, the community college. So they'll basically get all this. I think what they could use is some high density areas over here. And in my mind, they'll be like dormitories. Yeah, I think that uh, I think that's a way to go with those.
So we have our primary university right over here, which like, you know what? Oh, we can name this. We're gonna just name it Pioneer University because it's next to Pioneer Park. Simple and straightforward. And then we got our college, our community college up here and it's starting to take shape. Really like that. Oh, the buildings are looking pretty good. They're gonna have a lot of housing for over here. They've got, let's see, um, uh, I forget how I can see how many students. You know what? Let's just go into the view. Um, where is it? Why am I? I'm on the struggle. There it is. Jeez. Okay, so we have a total of a we have a total of 121 students, a capacity of 245, and this university probably has about a hundred students. But we have this many. We, <laughs> it's just an insane ratio, but oh well, it doesn't have to make sense for us to enjoy it. So yeah, I think that's going to be a pretty good setup for right now. What I want to do now is start filling out some of this area. So let's see, we have no demand for commercial. It's all low density residential. So let's go ahead and fill this area up. Next do is right next to the university. We'll have mixed commercial zoning, and we have a signature building, Streamline Diner. Cool. That's one thing I haven't done yet. I haven't put down any signature buildings, so let's actually go check that out. What's the Streamline in? Right there. I think the Streamline can work literally right next to the university. So let's go ahead and plop that bad boy down. Give it a quick looky loo. Yeah, pretty standard. But I think a diner next to the university makes sense. So. We'll just let it roll, let it roll with that. So now it's just kind of the waiting game of letting this all fill in. So I'm just gonna let the, the game run for just a little bit guys while I, uh, while I go get coffee or something. So I'll be right back in a little bit. All right guys, so I went ahead and got my coffee. So now I'm a little bit more awake. Um, when I came back, I noticed we had one notification I hadn't dealt with yet. And it turns out we have a traffic jam right here on Linden coming off the uh, highway. And to be fair, I kinda knew this traffic jam would happen. Um, I know this isn't the best intersection for a downtown area. The intersection I wanna build just isn't gonna be ready yet because uh, I'm not gonna lie to you, I want anarchy and I want move it and I want all that because I have an idea. I do have an idea of what I wanna put here. But for the time being, we're stuck with it. I built it, so we'll fix it as we go. I think what'll help is if I take out the traffic light, which you know makes no sense realistically in our world. You would definitely have a traffic light here, but I'm wondering if I just take it out, if the AI will just figure out its life and get moving. I can accept a little bit of a traffic jam, but I don't want it backing all the way up onto the actual highway. So we'll see what happens, and uh, we'll just we'll just live with it. So yeah. Anyways, let's back out here. So yeah, we got a lot built. In this, at least, you know, acreage wise, got a lot of acreage covered. We got Pioneer Park built. And I really enjoy the look of it. Nothing too crazy, but I was able to keep a lot of the natural hills and cliffs. I was able to get some amenities in here for them, like a skate park, basketball court, tennis courts, and a big old parking lot, because every park needs a big old parking lot. That is a must and a mandatory thing. And uh, yeah. We got some more zoning done. We got a community college up here for for those who just get out of high school and just want to get into the workforce as quickly as possible. And then we have a university down here for those who want to go into massive crippling debt. I am one of those poor souls. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy this build. I know I enjoy doing it. Let's go ahead and demolish that building. Oh, wait, before I sign out, let's correct a mistake I made. I didn't put in the shipping lines last episode because I am not a smart man I am not a smart man so let's go ahead and create a line from there and it'll go up here and back and then I know there's one over here to Midhurst and back and then there's three up here let's go from 
What is that? Cold, cold egg. Come back. Walmer. Walmer just sounds like a depressing place to me. And then from Jefferson. Well, if that's not the most American sounding city I've ever heard. Okay, so now we got our passenger lines installed. So we should be able to see a ship. Might be able to sign off with us seeing a ship dock and everything. So yeah. Oh, we also have our first really tall building. Our first skyscraper. It's awkwardly placed. I think I accidentally put that down. I meant to put medium density and put high density. I think that's how that happened. But I'm not going to demolish it. We live with our mistakes here. So anyways, let's check. Speaking of mistakes, let's check on this. Yep, traffic's flowing. Traffic is flowing. They're not dying. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. But anyways, guys, yeah, again, I really enjoy uh, this build. Hopefully you guys did too. If you did enjoy it, you know what to do. All the typical stuff down below. And have a good day.